everything that you must know if you're a vampire user. You can obtain Vampire Ace by using a stone mask, that spawn around the map with every 1 minute with 1% chance. Obtaining the Vampire Ace will give you advantages and some disadvantages. Advantages. Vampire's Blood Bar. If this bar is partly full, your damage, speed, and regeneration will be boosted. You can fill up your Blood Bar by killing NPC and other players. You can unlock Vampire Specialty Tree by talking to the Elder Vampire Rumian, the Vampire Bar inside the sewers. Follow my path. Now turn left. Now go inside and you'll find Rumi in there. Talk to him. The vampirism specialty costs 5000 cash. Here you have it, the Vampire Specialty Tree. The Vampire Specialty Tree has three unique moves. First move is Vaporizing Freeze. This move costs one skill point to get, and it's a pretty useless move. It has very small range, but you can do some coward plays with it. You can use this as a rooftop path bloker. Wow, coward. On to the next move, we got life drain. This move costs 5 skill points to get, unlike vaporizing freeze, this move can be used in many combos, also this move can heal you, while damaging the enemy. Next, we got space stingy eyes, this move is very useful, this move has very big explosion range, and it burns your enemy and deals a very good amount of damage can be used in many good combos too. The whole skill tree costs 36 points. Blood Bottle fills your blood bar as a vampire. You can buy Blood Bottle from Alex the Bartender for 50 cash. You can carry up to 3 bottle. This item can come in very handy in Steel Ball Race. Disadvantages. You will burn in daylight. You can lower your burn damage by upgrading ultraviolet resist in the skill tree. Also you can get umbrella to prevent burning in daylight. But equipping the umbrella, this allows you to click attack. To get an umbrella, head to the steel ball race, and look for a guy named Jongik. He will sell you his umbrella for 100 cash. Jonathan and Zapelli will kill you if you talk to them, meaning you can take level 25 quest. Also you will take more damage from Heyman users. That's all for today, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and be sure to smash that like and subscribe, they are both free. Thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.